After a 27-year-old homeless man was stabbed to death in Fresno's Tower District this weekend, community members came together tonight at two different events. One, to honor the man's life and the lives of other people who are homeless who died this past year. As CBS 47's Catherine Phillips explains, both events had one thing in common. We just felt to come out to honor this man who other people could have tossed out like the trash. Cindy Delsid was one of the women who found the body of 27-year-old Angel Cortez Flores over the weekend. Delsid frequently does outreach work with the homeless, and on a regular trip to pass out supplies, she says they found him. Hands were bloody, um, his eyes were op open, it just it, it didn't, and I knew that he wasn't alive. Fresno police say he had been stabbed to death, but there's no information on a suspect just yet. Across town, Daniel, an event for the homeless person's Memorial Day was held to honor the dozens of homeless people who died in Fresno County this year. Organizer and volunteer with Fresno Homeless Advocates Paul Jackson says this event is hosted in cities across the country taking place purposely on the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. He says they wanted to take a moment to remember the lives of those who were often invisible to the rest of the community. It's a tragedy when people ultimately die and they don't connect to services. And we've had that happen here. Delsud says while well, Tuesday's vigil honors Flores' life for a moment, what really needs to happen next is justice. I hope you get caught because um, you took a life for nothing. Catherine Phillips, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.